What's up and welcome back to Vitamin P online. Sorry to keep you waiting. I apologize. Not my fault. The sun decided it didn't want to come out after a certain time and I just haven't been able to do these videos in the dark, right? So had to kind of uh, figure out a way and time to do it. So I'm back and today Today's episode is about diet versus lifestyle change and why diets don't work. Okay guys, because you have the Atkins diet, the low carb diet, the low carb diet, the carnivore diet, the keto diet. I can go on and on. And you know what? I think the reason why these diets fail is because they are not a long term solution to a healthy lifestyle. Okay, you might go on a diet, and I hear people say, oh, the last time I went on a diet, I dropped 10 pounds. What happened? Well, the diet ended, and you know, I just went back to my weights. Okay? It's a, it's a clear indication that diets just do not work. All right, guys? I would not recommend a diet. I would recommend a lifestyle change, and there's only one type of, if you want to call it a diet, that you should be on, and it's called a whole foods, plant based diet and everyone's like well Pete and why oh you're vegan now no no I will not call myself a vegan okay I, I technically can't as you can see I have a leather couch I have leather in my car I don't have like leather clothes or anything like that maybe a leather belt but I'm not selling my couch I'm not selling my car and I'm like you don't have to do that but what vegan means is basically what you're saying and the reason why I don't want to call myself a vegan because vegans and vegetarians, they basically say what they do not eat, okay? Uh, which people, they, even when, you, when I was telling people I'm a vegetarian, they're like, okay, well, what do you eat? I'm going to explain what I don't eat, right? Um, whole food, a whole food plant-based diet. That is more direct, straight to the point, whole foods plant-based. I know it's almost the same thing as saying a vegetarian, but I almost feel like if I say I'm a vegan, then I have to convince you not to eat animals and why it's bad and why dairy's bad and why this is bad. It's a negative type of approach to helping you get on track. And I know a lot of people saying, Kate, hey, you're saying whole foods, but I still don't know what that is. Come on, guys. You know what that is. Your grains, your rice, your potatoes, pasta, you know, uh, eating fruits and veggies uh, and salads. These are all delicious foods. And a lot of people are saying, man, you, you're eating these salads. What, you're on a diet? No, I actually like to eat salads. I enjoy eating fruits. I enjoy eating whole foods, grains, potatoes, and rice. And I have been doing just fine. And I call this a lifestyle change. I don't call it a diet because I feel diets are part time. Okay, guys. So I just wanted to let people know the main reason why diets fail are because they it's not a long term approach on your health. Okay, you'll go on a diet for six months and you'll come off and you'll gain back whatever you'll start feeling the same ways you were feeling before, which is not a good feeling. It was the reason why you went on a diet in the first place. So what I am going to start to do is start to promote a whole food, oh, plant, oops, sorry guys, a whole food plant-based diet approach. Okay, and I know this is not going to be easy and I know I didn't have time. I was thinking of all type of videos to do and I was supposed to let you guys know that I've succeeded on being uh, a pescatarian for one year, which ended in August. We're in November now. And since August, I actually cut the fish because pescatarians eat fish and I became a vegetarian. But not too long after that, maybe a month in, I'm like, you know what? I don't need to do uh, dairy products on my, and I can cut out the eggs as well because it was really on my breakfast. So technically I am a vegan now. I do not eat any type of animal products at all. I am a whole food, plant-based lifestyle, because that's what I'd like to call it, all right? This is the new movement, all right? Whole foods, plant-based, that is the only, if you wanted to call it a diet, that is the only one that you should be following. And I know it's not gonna be easy. Like I said, 
for me personally, it took me about maybe two years to even get to that pescatarian option. Because I was bouncing from vegetarian, ah, I can't do it, back. Vegetarian, ah, I can't do it, flip back. But once it caught on, I slowly started to remove things from what I was eating. Started with the bacon, moved on to red meat. Then I moved on to uh, chicken. The last thing for me to cut was the fish. Right, and I did that for a year. And I didn't even have fish every day. I had it twice a week. I had salmon specifically. So I wasn't having every type of fish and having fish every day. I was just having salmon twice a week, all right? And then in the very end, I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's time to cut the fish, and I did it. And it was not that hard. So I think a slow approach to removing these things from your diet is, is most likely the best way for you to get on track and you will find yourself healing inside and you will find yourself feeling better, feeling lighter. And guys, don't worry about the gains, okay? Yes, you may lose some weight, which is on the scale. This is for the guys. I know women, you'll love this. You're gonna lose weight, it's great. But that is not gonna be necessarily muscle. That is gonna be fat, okay? Because there's a lot of things you can't see the inside of your body. You can't see the fat surrounding your, your liver. And you can't see the fat clogging up your arteries. These things you cannot see. Not, it's not, you're not able to see this unless you get some type of, um, you know, ultrasound, x-ray or whatever it's called to really see where that fat is sticking into your inside. Okay, once you get rid of that, you will obviously lose weight. But you need to just stop that whole way of thinking. Okay, especially for guys, I'm gonna lose weight. I thought I thought the same thing too. So I don't necessarily blame you because I was also there thinking, man, I'm gonna start losing weight. And you know what? I'm gonna keep it 100. I did lose a little bit of weight, but it was a good thing. My love handles disappeared. My six pack started to pop out more. My definition in my legs started to pop out more. A lot of people saying, man, you got bigger. And I'm like. Actually, no. I, I got a little more lean. My muscles are popping out a little more, which is giving me the illusion of looking bigger. Right? So it gave me that illusion of looking bigger. Right? So for everybody who, you know, the new year is coming up soon. A lot of people are going to start to go on a diet. Cut that. No more diets. We're going to change our lifestyle. We're gonna to start to introduce more fruits and some more veggies. It's gonna be a gradual approach, approach, but you will get there, you will succeed, you can do it, all right? Vitamin P did it, you can do it too, all right? All right, so shout outs to uh, Remix My Fitness. You go to remixmyfitness.com. Uh, definitely a very good website to help motivate you to stay in shape and to eat healthy as well. Big ups to the Rush fam and the and famous two kids. They're probably my most uh, popular subscribers who subscribe to my channel. And shout outs to everybody who, who's been saying to me, hey, when are you gonna do some more videos? Uh, you know, do some more videos, please, right? So uh, definitely doing this for everybody. And shout outs and big ups to everybody who, who's trying, trying to make a difference trying to live a healthier lifestyle going into 2019 and trying to make a difference in your life. All right, guys, and remember, I don't, I don't do this for the money. I do not do this for the likes or views. I do it for the love. Thanks for tuning into Vitamin P, and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.